straight to the infectious disease experts in Boston every night to get the latest for you on the coronavirus development. So we're joined by Dr. Helen Boucher. She is the chief of the Division of Geographic Medicine and Infectious Diseases at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you. Um, I want to get right to this new research that indicates it might be more difficult to develop immunity from COVID than we hoped, meaning that those antibodies may not last very long. Can you talk about what these latest studies show? Sure, well, it's nice to be with you, Emily. And indeed, the immunity story for COVID becomes more complicated by the day. So there are a couple of new studies. One study out of Spain showed us that unfortunately, despite being a very hot spot country, uh, they did a study of 61,000 people and found that only 5% developed any evidence of immunity. So that really tells us that herd immunity is going to be very hard to come by and we're going to have to wait for that vaccine. The other issue thing that we've learned about is that these antibodies don't seem to last as long as we would hope. They come in about two weeks after infection, but they might go away or wane in as soon as four weeks after infection, like the common cold COVID uh, coronaviruses. So uh, not what we had hoped to see uh, in terms of immunity. So let's think about that in the picture of these vaccine trials moving ahead. There's no vaccine for the common cold. Um, could you see a situation in which maybe a vaccine for COVID becomes something like the flu, where you'd have to get it every year or every six months or so? Sure, well, you hit on two topics, right? So there is no vaccine yet for a cold, and it is possible that a coronavirus vaccine for COVID could also um, cover some coronavirus strains that cause a cold, so that could be a good thing. And this um, information about waning immunity certainly does suggest that it is perhaps more likely that we would need to have this vaccine more frequently, perhaps every year. These are all unknowns and these mm -hmm. are all the subject of a lot of studies that's going on right now. And, and so when we talk about Moderna announcing it's moving to that phase three at the end of July, um, recruiting 30,000 people, that's a, that's a big sample of people. Um, you know, would we hope to get some of these answers once that phase is over? Well, we very much hope so, right? So the idea of the phase three trial is to look at people just like you and me who would take this vaccine uh, if it became approved. And it needs to be a large number of people because we're giving this to otherwise healthy people. So we need to know both that it works right. and that it's safe. So this will take some time, but if it's successful and there are many other vaccines being studied, right. we hope that we will have some effective uh, therapies. How soon do you think we'd know, just quickly, Dr. Boucher? Oh, this is the hard part, right? Yeah. It, it's probably a year away, honestly. Um, there are some optimistic possibilities and they are possible, but I don't think they're likely. Okay. All right, Dr. Boucher, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it.